this murder. The guy committed suicide after killing the woman? It seems absurd, but it's the only explanation. I don't think Kane had anything to do with what happened at the laundrette. It doesn't but look like it. I'm the same. There's got to be a link between the two murders. Let's join back up with Kane here. Agatha. <laughs> the fuck is that supposed to be? Oh, wake up. Not very realistic. St. Paul's Church. Agatha, is that you? I, I thought you were... Dead. In a way. But I promise to tell you what I know. And I always keep my word. Listen carefully, Lucas. We have very little time. You are not insane. Neither are you a murderer. You are simply at the wrong place at the wrong time. Why did they make me commit that murder? They turned you into the instrument of a millennial sacrifice. Ooh. It's a way for them to see what's hidden. They are looking for a little girl. They'll do anything to get her. Anything? Then who made me commit that murder? Who came and sat down at my table in the restaurant? No one knows his real name. They call him the Oracle. He serves the most powerful of the powerful. The Oracle. They live in shadow, but they have controlled this world since the dawn of time. They are coming. Save yourself, Lucas. They want your life. Wet knit last in the ancient Mayan civilization. You'll find some of the answers you seek there. Wet knit land. Agatha? Agatha!
again. I didn't have anywhere else to go, so I came here. My God. This time you really have to go to the police, Lucas. There is no other solution. I'm not turning myself in until I understand what happened. I saw Agatha again. Here, just a while ago. She, she's dead, but she had some things to tell me. I, I think she wants to help me. Agatha is dead? Are you telling me that you... No, I didn't kill Agatha Marcus. She was dead by the time I got there. But you're saying that you talked to a dead person? None of this makes any sense. Something strange is happening to me, Marcus. Since the murder, I, I find I can do abnormal things. I see visions of certain events before they happen. Sometimes I can even hear what people are thinking. And my body has become much stronger and faster. Nobody has powers like that. You're not turning into a Superman, Lucas. So what are you going to do? You can't stay here. The police will certainly come to question me and probably place me under surveillance. I have to find some place to hide. I'm a fugitive. My description will go out everywhere. At least now I know that there is an explanation. I need to find the people who are behind all of this. Be careful, Lucas. They'll kill you if they get the chance. Nothing could be worse than what I see in my visions. Agatha talked about the Mayans. It's vague, but it's all I've got to go on. I've got to find a place to hide while I figure this out. There's only one person who can help me. Not Marcus. As for danger. Asylums. Hello. My name is Barney. Detective Barney. Carla Valenti. You come to see Janus, isn't that right? He's down in the second corridor on the right. When you're finished. Oh, another power that you for six times a day. Not surprising though, with this cold weather. Good thing the hospital's got its own backup generator. Remember, Janice's cell is down the second corridor on the right. One of my colleagues is waiting to open the cell for you. I'll be watching you. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Thank you, Barney. This is no asylum, it's more like a prison. As I'm sure, I wasn't sure you've exactly already noticed. What I expected to find out by coming here. Kane was the killer. There was no doubt about that. And yet, I needed to know just what happened in the strange case of the Kirsten killings. Kirsten. Detectives, I'll wait for you here. Perfect, thanks. Uh -oh. See, it's a freaking prison. It's worse than a pr prison. It's like freaking solitary, man. Plus, you're chained up.
can say that much. <laughs> You're all changing.